guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine, welcome to this week's Yin reading for May the 6th until the 13th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do an elemental reading and then a crystal ball for the extended version. Okay, so this will be for the emotional space. I'm using Colette, Baron Reed, uh, the Good Tarot. Okay, so for the mental space, I'm going to use John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And so for the physical, I'm going to use John Holland Psychic Tarot. Whoa. So I guess it's that one. And for the spiritual, um, Fairy by Lenormand. Oops, I flipped it around too soon. Okay, and so for the soul, I'm going to use Yosho Zen. Okay, so let's begin. So starting with the emotional space. The star card, wow. Um, so this card showed up in your present position as well for the Twin Flame reading. So this is healing, um, very calming, um, hopeful energy for the future. Um, I don't know, for some reason I want to just look at the description. I like that picture, so number 17, Major Arcana. So it says, um, star, inspiration, I am hopeful and inspired by life right now and everything that is happening uh, points to renewed sense of encouragement. After all the change I've experienced, I'm starting to recognize the hope that comes with new beginnings. Wow. So there was a lot of aces in the past position, um, a, you know, a sense of a new beginning, um, happening for the feminine and feeling hopeful for the future um, manifesting love into her life so emotionally you feel like you know you're healing um, very calm positive vibrations you're feeling hopeful for the future so what's in your mental space wow the three of cups share the love so mentally you're thinking about you know, offering your love, reconnecting, um, sharing your love with somebody else. So these are the thoughts that are crossing your mind. Um, so, yeah, I mean, don't think about it. Share your love. Sharing um, a connection with somebody shouldn't be something that you need to consider, right? Be open with your love and generous with your love. physical, stand your ground, seven of wands. So um, in your physical environment, there may be people who are challenging you. You feel, you know, you've risen to this higher level and you feel that other people want to take your place. So you need to find that confidence and that strength in order to, to speak up, speak out and hold your position. So in the physical, what I'm sensing from this is the feminine um, being in this powerful role and the Queen of Fire was actually very prominent energy so I can see the Queen of Fire standing here um, in her power, you know, vibrating this leadership, um, charismatic 
energy into the universe and the physical. Spiritually, she is the 21. So let me just look at that. That's talks about, you know, being, going on a journey. And although there are these really pointy, um, elevated mountains and, and obstacles standing in your way, you are being divinely guided. If you look in the bush, there's these little fairies that are guiding you. So let's just have a quick peek here. Okay, so durability. So it relates to an uh, and describes the enduring nature of survival and growth. So obstacles, um, direction. Yeah, so the mountains are carved out by glaciers and stand in testament to great strength. Um, this card talks about the backbone, a place of sanctuary and protection from hostility. So drawing upon hidden forces which are naturally available when we are forced to extract them. Alternatively, this position can show your greatest obstacle at this time. So spiritually, even though, like I said, there are obstacles, there are people challenging you, um, you are being guided, right? It's, things don't feel so insurmountable. Um, you can take on these challenges. You know, and emotionally you're in a very beautiful space. Open yourself up mentally, share, connect with other people. Something that's drawing my attention is in the background, you can see a couple looking at each other, lovingly, fondly, right? So, very nice. Okay, so the soul, what does the soul have to say? The three of pentacle, guidance. Um, Where's it? This I think the feminine was bringing in this into the union for the twin flame stability groundedness, uh, but this talks about guidance, right? We we got that double sensation of feeling guided. So let's see what this says. So the three of pentacles. Eventually, I will find it. Oops. There we go. Okay. So this is what your soul is saying. The angelic figure with rainbow colored wings on this card represents the guide that each of us carries within. Like the second figure in the background, we may sometimes be a little reluctant to trust the guide when it comes to us because we are so accustomed to taking our cues from the outside rather than from the inside. The truth of your own deepest being is trying to show where you, uh, trying to show you where to go right now. And when this card appears, it means you can trust the inner guidance you are being given. It speaks in whispers, and sometimes we can hesitate, not knowing if we have understood rightly. But the indications are clear. The fo the, in following the inner guide, you will feel more whole, more integrated. And if, are you, if you are moving outward from the very center of your being, as if you are moving outward from the center of your being, if you go with it, this beam of light will carry you exactly where you need to go. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. You know, um, you have this inner sanctuary happening with the star card, right? Very soothing, um, divine guidance um, kind of energy. It's like the universe is, is helping you to heal. And then we have that same thing happening over here spiritually. Your inner guide will lead you exactly where you need to go. Okay, so mental, we got a little blockage there. Um, physical, I feel this is a blockage because you have to stand your ground. You feel that there are forces that are trying to take something away from you. But spiritually, you know, emotionally, and your soul are are kind of letting go, allowing, you know, destiny to bring, you know, that abundance into your life and also to help lead you on your journey. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card as a final message from the universe. I'm going to use the enchanted map. Okay. 
Okay, so deep freeze. I was almost going to pull it upside down um, because, you know, this is upright. It's just the way I grabbed it. So it is upright. Okay, so everything has its season. Now's the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. I'm almost thinking this was supposed to be red in the reverse, but I'll read both, okay? So whatever resonates with you, take that. Okay, so it's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitious activity, a pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being. Not going anywhere, not, ooh, God, that scared me. Uh, my video is finished rendering. Um, not needing to. This is also a time to put <clears throat> all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now. So reflect, read a good book, and get a massage. Rest and dream. So this was a similar energy that was coming out from the masculine side to find enjoyment in the simple pleasures of life. But initially it came out in the reverse. So let me read that to you. <clears throat> Okay, so reversed. Nothing you can do right now will amount to anything substantial, no matter how much you try to push, manipulate, or conjole. Life wants you to take a break. You need to do this now, lest you become exhausted and be forced to rest. What you need will be there uh, for you when you emerge in the springtime. For now, winter has its own ideas for you. Wait for a sign of spring. So serendipity cards showed up in the Twin Flame reading. Um, so what I'm immediately felt with this is that you need to look for signs and synchronicities. There's messages that um, are coming to you and you need to be aware of them. Uh, but also, you know, what I'm feeling here is surrender to the divine spirit to guide you. Um, there's nothing that you need to do that's important, you know, that's pressing. So whatever this tension is in the physical, um, you know, the universe is telling you to let go of control, you know, allow that pregnant pause, that gestation to transform. Um, yeah, because I, I see a lot of thoughts happening here. Should I reach out? Should I give this person my heart? Um, you know, what do I do? But really at the core of who you are, you are surrendering to accepting that you're being divinely guided, right? There is nothing that you need to do. All right, so um, please like, comment, uh, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, definitely comment, guys, because that's how I know if I'm on the right track. All right, cheers, love you, peace. Welcome back, Divine Feminine. So this is going to be the extended version, and I'm going to do a crystal ball. So it's a 5x5 five five grid, um, distant past, recent past present, near future, and final outcome, four cornerstone cards, which are the main energy of the reading, and then one center card as a message from the universe. Get in there. All right, so actually I'll pull the cards as we go. Okay, so beginning with the first cornerstone card, Ace of Wands. Wow, they showed up in the heart space for the uh, twin flame reading. So major, um, major energy cornerstone card ace of fire so kundalini awakening go like go time inspiration so something happened something inspired you something initiated or instigated a movement or an idea to flow in so you felt inspired um, and creative right so this could be something spiritually or artistic all right, next is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this was um, definitely a theme for sure um, in the Twin Flame and um, the basic reading I just did. So the Three of Pentacles. This, in the um, basic um, yin reading, it was the soul card, and it spoke about being divinely guided. You know, listen to that internal guidance. And this... Three of Pentacles, however, talks about foundations. It feel it's a feeling of um, accomplishment, success. You're using your skills, your talents in order to 
create abundance in your life. So you were inspired and this inspiration has created um, stability. Next, the Ace of Swords. Wow, this also showed up in the past, the synchronicity. Um, was it the Ace of Fire? No, it was the Ace of Pentacles and on the other side of the King of Cups was the Ace of Swords. So strong synchronicities. So I left up um, the two cards from the um, basic yin. So we got that three of pentacles there, the guidance card. And then the main message from the universe was deep free. So it was a pause. Okay, so we got two aces, which is new beginnings. Uh, this card is a triumphant card, success. It also could mean communication, making a decision. So there's a lot of mental clarity and inspiration around this idea that's forming or manifesting into the 3D. Next, two swords. Wow. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the ace of swords. We have a feminine, you know, um, angel who is naked, vulnerable, exposed. She has a sword. She's made a decision. She's grounded that decision into reality. Now, her back is facing facing a masculine energy so for the basic yang um sorry about that a uh, video just finished rendering <laughs> so that happened in the basic reading too i just did sorry about that guys okay so the in the masculine um basic reading the tor two of swords was in the mental space so i'm feeling this is the masculine energy being indecisive being at a crossroads feeling blocked um so the feminine has turned her attention elsewhere she's beside the masculine but she is not being swept up by his indecision she is you know really concentrating on this positive beginning here so final cornerstone card distant past seven of swords so feeling betrayed feeling like somebody's lying to you stabbing you in the back so it's a major energy here so even though there's this blockage and fears concerning the masculine um like i said she, it's like she's split right she knows all of this is going on but she's not partaking in it she's trying to um, create happiness and excitement and inspiration in her life and mental clarity. Okay, so the recent past position, wow, 1111 card, right below the Ace of Wands. So confirmation of a twin flame connection. Um, so the, the recent past, there, there is this you know twin flame connection that has you know really come to light so let's see what the rest of the cards say first before we go any further ten of wands completion so this is burden feeling like you're carrying all the responsibilities feeling um like you're trapped in the machine giving a lot of yourself so let's carry on page of fire so this is somebody who's excited inspired um you know it's a new adventure and uh it could also be great communication um so this is an idea or inspiration that could be spiritually aligned or creative so these three cards are telling me that you know this twin flame connection has caused a lot of exhaustion um you feel like you've been putting, you know, giving a lot of yourself. Um, but something may have happened that created um, excitement. You know, maybe you heard from your masculine. Maybe there's, you know, some great communication that took place because it is below the Ace of Swords there. Um, or this could mean that you are inspired to pursue a new beginning, a new adventure. That is drawing you away from the 1111 connection but let's see what the rest of the cards say the seven of pentacles the masculine got this card in his past position so this is pregnant pause gestation period and that's what that deep freeze card was talking about 
So this is being forced to wait. So it's below the two of swords. So it's like you're looking to the past and you're thinking about the masculine and his indecision. Um, and that would cause you um, to, to feel like maybe you're waiting for him. Um, let's see what the next card says first. All right, so the Five of Cups. This was a crowning card for both aspects in the Twin Flame reading. So there's mourning, heartbreak, pain, loss. Um, so, you know, you wanted, both aspects wanted to get beyond this feeling of, you know, sadness. So where there was inspiration and excitement um, there's still, you know, you know, excitement for a new beginning. There's still this feeling of waiting for somebody and, and it hurting your heart. So you want that new beginning. You want the twin flame connection to come to you and something has completed. Like this is a 10, which is completion. Um, you still feel like you're being held back and it hurts your heart. Okay, so your present position, perspective shift, so letting go control, surrendering. That's exactly what you need to do. And it's right below the 11-11 card. So you, you, although you feel that you need to control whatever's happening with the 11-11 connection, you know on a deep level that you need to let go and allow things to gestate on its own. So perspective shift. Ten of Swords, wow. This showed up in the near future in the Twin Flame reading. So this is also coming below the Ten of Fire. So major ending. You're completely cutting something out of your life. Negative thoughts. You know, that sadness, that burden. So this does show me that there are changes taking place. Um but you're no longer in that dark night of the soul. So the next card is a major message from the universe, the night of fire. So the universe is telling you to blast forward out of that darkness into inspiration, into that creative you know, energy. So we see that page of fire here, an idea formulated, made a decision that creates inspiration, and the universe is telling you to move forward with that as the night of fire. This is a directed energy towards that goal. There's no stopping you. It is um, within reach. You've been surrendering too long. You've been um, thinking about that connection. So it's like you're cutting this connection out of your life and you know instead of waiting and mourning you're moving, the universe is telling you to get on that fiery horse of passion and pursue the things that make you happy, right? That ace of fire, um, you know, there was that new beginning there, but you're being held back by um, a masculine energy that you can't trust. So you're putting the burden down. You're no longer waiting. You're no longer, you know, having that pain in your heart. <clears throat> you're cutting things out of your life and moving forward. Next card. Wow, towards the Ten of Cups. Another ten, three tens here. So, you know, this is pursuing things that make you happy. This is peace, harmony, um, manifesting love in your life, right? So that is your main focus. And the universe is saying, yes, see the good in, in the world, not the negative. Next. Wow. Six of Cups reunion. Um, so this was a card for the, you know, that was a, a theme for the masculine as well. Feeling a void, wanting to reconnect with somebody. So we, we see that Five of Cups progressing to the Six of Cups, right beside the Ten of Cups. So there is an emotional void that may be filled. So this is coming present, near future is isk. This is what you're moving towards. This happily ever after and reunion. Taking things into your own hands. Near future. Tower. Wow. Very cool. This showed up in the near future for the twin flame reading. So sudden change comes in like a bolt of lightning. 
tears down all the illusions. So we see that right below the perspective shift, a transformation um, that brings illumination. Page of Pentacles, another major themed card on both aspects. This showed up in your past position. Um, so, you know, this is sitting down, burying your nose in the books and um, formulating plans. So it's like you're picking up that idea once again from the Three of Pentacles and you're pursuing your dreams. You want to manifest your dreams into the 3D. So there's going to be, you know, some sudden change, but from that is a new start. You're ending, you're, en you're ending, ending, um, and as a result, pursuing something that's going to bring you um, love and peace and harmony. But it requires you to cut away some shit, which you're doing. And it's not a big deal, right? You, this is a very committed card to picking up that idea once again and moving forward. Next. Wow, there you go. The chariot. So confidence, control, um, pursuing the things that make you happy. We got, you know, the fiery horse there and then the chariot on top of that. So this is a court car, but this is a major arcana. So pursuing things that make you happy. Awesome. Love to see that. Next is nice. The two of cups and notice how you're pursuing love and it's right below the ten of cups. So this is all about you pursuing that. Reunion. Manifested into the 3D. Where there was a two of swords, there's now a two of cups. Okay, next. The hermit. So this is detachment. So what I'm seeing here is detach detachment from the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords. Um, detachment from the 3D. But being on a spiritual path, pursuing spiritual things. But being the philosopher, <clears throat> it is, um, you know, gaining wisdom through solitude. Okay, so this... doesn't make sense so we have the tower coming in a decision made commitment to long-term goal pursuing that goal um, which is a spiritual connection true love connection and then we have the solitude now this could be the masculine energy you're moving towards that solitude uh, you know towards that figure who is in solitude um, or this could be you, you know, pursuing your, the things that make you happy while holding love in your heart while being in solitude. So let me just pull one clarifier for that. So I got my little deck here. What do you mean by the hermit? Greedy. So the hermit is not possessed by greed. They are detached from the 3D reality, right? The tower cannot affect the hermit. So greedy, let me just pull one more card. What do you mean by that? Be patient. Okay, I get it. So it's a detachment. You're in the hermit, who is the philosopher. Um, because you don't, you know, there's this greediness that, you know, this desire to reconnect and that's what causes heartbreak in your life. So you are detaching so that you can be patient, but you're detaching as the hermit, right? Somebody who's very wise. Um, but you're still pursuing this connection, the twin flame connection, the things that make you happy. 
working towards that future. So I don't know. Well, let's see what the final row says. Maybe it might make more sense. Okay, so cornerstone card. Wow, there you go. Four of Wands. That's such a crazy synchronicity. That's the, the final outcome card for the Twin Flame reading. And it's a cornerstone card now. And it's below the 1111 card. So double whammy. Twin Flame. Final outcome. Commitment. Um, union. So this Hermit could very well be the masculine coming out of solitude. Very cool that it's below the tower, which is illusions. This is reality. This is fantasy. This is reality. Okay, so next. The Eight of Swords. So we've got the Ten of Swords there. The Ten of Wands. Um, so... You know, this is what I'm feeling is breaking free of that cage, right? It takes will and determination in order to break free of the constraints. Next. Solar plexus chakra. This showed up in the future position for the masculine. Power, courage. And that's what these cards talk about. Power, courage determination to overcome challenges and obstacles so again I feel breaking free of that prison next wow the ace of cups showed up in the near future for the twin flame reading another synchronicity um, but this is the final outcome card and it's right below the two of cups the ten of cups that thing you've been waiting for for a long time is manifested new start this card comes with conditions. You have to be able to let go of the past, forgive yourself, forgive others. Right? And so that speaks to these cards. Being at one with yourself. And so the final cornerstone card is what? The Nine of Cups. Wish granted, wish fulfilled. From that peace and patience comes wish granted right and so we look to the past we see that cups that, that six of cups there that's what's manifested fully so the nine plus the ace is ten so we got this ten of cups here ten of cups here two of cups you know and the six of cups reunion union with the other and with self Union, union. So there is a dark period here, um, but you unlock the door. It takes power to do it. Okay, so let's pull uh, one card from Wisdom of the Oracle as the final message. What final messages do you have for the feminine? Wow, loyal heart. The masculine got the coming together card. Very similar energy. So, union, reunion. Holy crap. Wow, and I almost opened it to the page. I opened it to 34. Okay, so fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Your partnerships, friendships, and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now. Honest, de honest devotion, faithfulness, and a loyal heart are being shown to you now. Are you as loyal in return? Now is the time for heartfelt commitment and trusting in divine protection. There's that divine protection and guidance again. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I, that loyalty and, tr you know, trusting, um, in divine planning is definitely very prominent in this reading. Holy crap. Okay. And over here as well. All right. So I do hope you like this video. 
um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment, okay? It's very important to comment because that lets me know if I'm on the right track or not. All right, I love you guys. Cheers.